Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, the topic of dice is something that I think is important to war gamers, since it's a dice-based game. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And um, I had to throw it there. Um, basically, dice come in different sizes, shapes, sides, and so on. Uh, shapes in terms of regular or crystal-sided dice, a crystal-shaped dice. Uh, if you look up crystal dice, you should see what I'm talking about. Um, Anyway, we're focusing on the six-sided die here, and basically the rounded edge and the square edge. This is a rounded edge die, as you can kind of see by its shape. And then you have this square-edged die, which you can see by its shape is very much square. Um, basically, standard dice you can buy for role-playing, wargaming, whatnot, and casino dice. Now. I'm not going to go into the fact that people believe casino dice roll better, whatever, and what they mean by better, I couldn't tell you, than other dice. Uh, is there some validity to that? Well, it depends on what they're testing, and if you look at the tests and look at the formulas they use and all that, I'm sure there is something to it, but um, I think it's still a random event for the most part. Um, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is A, to talk about the different types in terms of the dice, the dice itself. And with this, these I feel are a bit more durable, they can withstand falling from greater heights and whatnot. These, because of the straight edge like this, uh, are prone to cracking actually along the edge, and the edge actually cracking off a bit. So, um, if you are going to roll or buy or purchase casino dice to roll, or you happen to have them, be careful. You can roll a lot, basically, with wargaming. For much everything you do as a check is a roll. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> that being said, I personally don't ca don't care what dice my opponent is rolling. They can roll rounded edge or square edge. They can roll crystal dice if they want to. I don't care as long as they're six sided die and I can see the results you're rolling as well. Um, that being said, let's talk about consistency. Um, if you're going to roll square edge dice, only roll square edge dice. Um, if you're going to roll rounded edge, only roll rounded edge dice. Um, don't mix and match. I mean, if, if you're going to roll, if you're always rolling groups of dice, let's say you're rolling six dice at a time all the time, like you're doing, or you're rolling ten dice, and happen to have like a couple of squares and a couple of rounded edge dice together, I'm even cool with that. But if you're doing specific checks with one type of die, and then when you do other type of checks using, um, the different type of die that's not cool that's not consistent that's almost being unfair and uh almost a form of cheating i mean it's not really cheating but it's really unfair i feel in my personal opinion um because you're pretty much playing on a different potential quote-unquote strengths of the, the dice themselves um i'm not going to get into that here as far as you know what die is better or not i don't really care <clears throat> point is Consistency is important in war, in war gaming and in card, collectible card gaming and any type of gaming you do against an opponent, a living, breathing opponent like this. It's important to remain consistent. Now, I don't mean in terms of strategy. You should always vary up your strategy. You should always try and do something that your opponent, you, when you're facing an opponent, that they can't predict and counter immediately. But, um, uh, basically, um, Consistency in terms of if you're gonna shuffle your deck a certain way, for example, um, or cut your deck a certain way before your opponent cuts it. If you're going to um, roll a particular type of dice, if you're gonna measure distance a certain type of way, be consistent. The reason being consistent is important is A, um, a, a player who's consistent in doing things like that, um, people tend to trust, not so much trust in terms of like trust, trust, like trusting them with stuff, but uh, aren't wary, they don't put up a defensive wall of okay, what's he trying to do? They're more uh, relaxed almost when playing against somebody like that. Also, when you do play against those type of players and you know who I'm talking about, the guys will try and call you on anything, pretty much that they're almost be a pain in the ass and not really to be fun to play against at all and it's almost like they're relying on you getting disqualified that way because you're just like it's not worth their time to actually play against you or something um 
then uh, you know what I'm talking about. Those type of people can't call you on stuff as easily if you're constantly consistent. If you, especially from, not just in that particular game, but from opponent to opponent. If you're consistent in what you're doing, um, you can't get called on stuff. And if they do try and call on stuff, they can be like, get out of here, he's consistent, I don't need to do that. So consistency is important. And uh, it's really easy to see consistency in the type of dice you roll. So let's say you go into a tournament and you're going to roll round, round sided dice. Then roll that round sided dice and only round sided dice for the entire tournament. Not from one player to another, you switch it up. But from player one, two, and three that you're playing against, always roll round sided dice. You want to roll square edge dice? Roll square edge dice only the entire tournament for every type of check. But when you start rolling them for certain checks and not others, for example, uh, that's when it gets shady. I can just tell you for a fact, if I saw someone do that, I would wonder what's up. Um, not because I'm a super edgy tournament player, just because that is a little shady. Why would you specific, uh, roll um, one type of die, a square-ish dice, for something, and then put it to the side and roll this for a different check? Um, there's no reason, in my opinion, to do that. So, I just want to talk about consistency with the dice. Um, these dice are also a little more expensive, the casino style die. Uh, however, if you're gonna roll casino dice, now I haven't seen a problem where I play, but some players I could see having the possibility of having a problem. Even if you only roll casino dice, I can see them going, not liking that for some reason because you got people like that. And I could see even tournament runners, you know, like judges and whatnot, uh, not really being happy with people rolling that for one reason or another. I don't really want to explain why, but I could see them making a case and I could kind of understand why. So if you're going to roll the casino dice, well, I, I don't foresee you ever having any problems, but should for some reason you do encounter a problem, have the, a rounded sided die set with you as well, like a chess axe or a game or shop, whatever, with you. That way, but don't bust it out to roll with it. Just have it with you, and in the event that you have to put the the squares, the casino-style dice away, you have dice with you to roll. Um, just a little bit of a, I guess, a heads up with that. I don't see any problems with that. Um, you know, I've never rolled these dice. I bought them because I thought they looked cool. I think casino dice look cool. I'm a big fan of dice. I think I like the way dice look. And I like this kind of like... It looks like a perfect cube, pretty much, in terms of when you look through it and all that, so I like that. Uh, will I be rolling with them in Wargaming? Yes, I'll be rolling with them in Wargaming in the future. Uh, the next thing I'm going to be playing in is a tournament. So I think, you know what, since it's the next thing I'm going to play in, I'll just bust out the casino dice and roll only with the casino dice. I'll have chess S dice, chess S, chess X dice with me. Wow, for some reason I couldn't say that. Because uh, that's the right-hand sided type. That's, that's the uh, round sided dice that I, the dice that I do have is chess X. Um, which I'm a big fan of. In the event somebody really has a big stink with me rolling my casino dice. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, I'm not talking about in terms of power gaming at quote unquote. I'm not talking about do they really roll better? I could care less. The point is consistency. And this is one example of consistency um, is the dice you roll. So that's pretty much it. And um, until next time, take it easy.